Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi and this is Yadi Angel Art. Today we're looking at some Bondo Llama stuff from Target. I had initially thought up this video as more of an art haul. I bought a bunch of stuff from there and I wanted to show you guys, but the audio for that video turned out really horrible and I just thought it would be more fun if I just started to review each of these things for you. And I don't know, maybe I can turn this into a bit of a series. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Today we're looking at the watercolor coloring book set. I have been dying to check this out for a long, long time. I figured it's a really cool way to practice watercolor techniques without having to draw things myself and that way it kind of takes the pressure off of the sketch phase. But sometimes, I mean, have you ever like drawn something with the intention of like just practicing a painting technique and then spent hours and hours on the drawing and then all of a sudden you just fell in love with the drawing and you don't want to experiment anymore in case you mess it up? I do that all the time, so I'm hoping this would help mitigate that. <laughs> so everything that this came with, um, we got some instructions. It looks like it comes with a water brush pen, brush markers, and the book. Let's open these brush pens up. Yeah. So it's a double-sided brush pen. You have the nib on the one side and the brush pen on the other. And we have six colors. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is swatch these colors. And I'm wondering if... Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna swatch on the back of one of these sheets. <laughs> and then we can see how it looks on the paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, no, this has like... Oh, this has line art on it. I don't know if you can see that. There, can you see it? Okay, the instructions say the white sheets have watercolor resistant designs on them. And then when you paint over the lines, the graphic will reveal itself. Ha <laughs> Okay, see what happens when you read the instructions. All right, I'm gonna try it on this side. Okay. Nibs are not very soft, but that's good to know. Okay, so before I continue with the other colors, this is what I hate about watercolor brush pens. I haven't found any brush pens that blend out on the paper, and the instructions told me to blend these out this way. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, instead, I think I'm gonna take this palette and color on the palette and mix that with water and then bring it out. Let's try this again. So these are the colors that it's swatched to. They are very, very light. Oh gosh, you can't see that. They're very, very light. I don't mind them actually. Almost all of them are very pastel-like and I kind of love that. So I'm pretty excited to paint with them. Everything except the yellow. My God, that yellow looks so bad. It came out looking like neon. Um, not really at all what it looks like on the barrel, which looks sort of pastel-like and yellow, but nah, this is, this is neon yellow. Yeah, I would probably never use this color. So we've swatched. Let's try and paint one of these pages. I said I wasn't going to use yellow, but I did end up using it. I used it to make this kind of... Uh, it's meant to be a brown, it's more pink than anything else, but um, <laughs> it looks okay. The inking is really thick, so that really lets me kind of just be like loose with the paintbrush.
I don't think this would build up very well based on how the water keep or the paper keeps coming off. But I still can't resist just like adding a little more layers. Maybe I should loosen this a little. Oh, I don't know why I did this. This always makes it worse. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that was a nice time. Let's try using my other sets of watercolor. Looks like that's the best I can get out of this. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a very different way of painting. I don't know. It seems cute, but I think I would actually prefer to decide on my own line work. There wasn't like so much freedom in certain things. Like I would prefer to do the centers of the sunflowers differently. Like you could barely see color on there. The petals were cute. And the idea of it is like relaxing because I don't have to stress about anything except just like putting paint down. So, I don't know, I think it's definitely something worth a shot if you're curious. I think I kind of prefer the other one at least with the black line art because then I can just focus less on filling in the whole page and more on like how I'm painting. But yeah, there's one other Mondo Llama art supply that we're gonna try today. So let's try that. All right, so here is the other supply that I wanna try out. Uh, they are, paint markers. I got an eight count of like normal colors and a also an eight, oh wow also an eight count. They're, they're thinner than the other ones so I thought they were less. Also um, an eight count of metallic paint markers and I also got this heavyweight paper pad that says it's for painting and coloring with markers. I'm not really sure how good it's going to be because I'm feeling it and it's really thin so I don't know if like the marker will seep through um I guess we'll find out oh okay uh so it seeps through a little bit but I'm surprised to see it doesn't seep through all the way to the other page so yeah yay so here are all of the colors I think they look really fun and I'm excited to try them out. I decided to go with something really simple since I've never used this before. My initial idea was going to be the super cute little snail stuck under the rain, but I couldn't get the colors to look very good. I think that I need colors that are closer in shade to get them to look nice, to kind of do nice gradients, sort of. Um, so that's something to think about for the future. For right now, I'm just doing the simple flower pattern. Here is my finished piece. I don't know if you can see the metallic in there when I move it. Oh, a little bit when I do like that. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I thought this was really fun. I had a little bit of trouble filling in these two flowers. You could still kind of see the like pencil mark underneath. It just wasn't going on right. But anyhow, I am really happy with the way this came out. And I think these make a really nice beginner start to paint markers, especially for the price point. I'd say for the price, these are really, really good. For somebody like just starting who wanted to know if they might even like this, this would be like a nice amount to pay to try that out. Um, it also would make a really nice gift for like younger artists. So what did you guys think? Did you like the paint markers, how they came out? How did you feel about the watercolor book? Let me know in the comments down below. If, thank you so much for sitting through to the end of this video with me. If you had fun today, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!